In this tip, I'm going to show you how to use Excel's autofill feature, and it's really helpful and useful for entering data. So I'm going to put in here the month of January, and if I click on that cell, notice there's a little handle in the bottom right hand corner, and I'm going to click on that, and Excel recognizes this as a common series, and so when I pull that handle out to the right, or I could pull it down, it will automatically fill in that data. And I could even do it abbreviated or as the full name. So this time I'm going to put in M-O-N for Monday. I could spell out Monday if I wanted to, but if I click on that and drag it, it will recognize I want the days of the week. Now, it'll even do things like time. So if I put in 8 o'clock, it's going to recognize that I want to put in 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so forth, so I don't have to fill in those times. Now, this is really neat. Um, I'm going to put in a part number, 1, 2, 3, and this could be serial number, could be lots of different things, but I'm going to click on that and it's going to recognize that that's something that needs to be sequential and automatically puts in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc., which is really great. And then this last one I want to show you is um, if you put in just a single number and if you click on that, it's going to actually copy that number because it doesn't recognize a series. But if you create a pattern uh, in two different cells and then select both of those cells, so mine jumps by three, it will automatically recognize that as a pattern and will carry that pattern throughout. There's a bunch of things that you can do this do with this. This is just an introduction and I've got more in the training course. Thanks for watching.